What's going on guys? This is Andy from Cut and Clean and I gotta share a real quick story with you guys. So what's going on guys? Just got back to Blake's house. We're getting ready to take the Gravely Atlas out on its first cleanup adventure here in Blake's neighborhood. And we're gonna also take my Gravely 48 Pro stance out, get some leaves cleaned up, get some stuff going. He's bringing me some Fiji water, it get looks up. like, unless he's bringing two for himself. Here, no, they're for you, I can see how it is. Everyone will see how you are, how you really are. Anyway, so we're getting ready to do this. We got a hitch. We're gonna try to put my trailer on the Gravely. I think the only thing I'm gonna have to use is your pin. Yeah, what size but ball I think, is that? Uh, one and seven eighths. This is a two inch ball. Mine's one and seven eighths. Lightness creep while you and me repeat. This bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting. And always hesitating Kryptonite desires Set my heart afire Heart on fire Set my heart afire So yeah, we got the uh, DeWalt radio bumping in the background, getting ready to do a cleanup at this property. What are we looking at? Some pampas grass and some leaves? Yep. Pampas grass, some leaves, blowing out all the landscaping, getting it to look really nice for spring. Makes maintenance a lot easier on everybody. Got Blake getting warmed up, he's stretching. He's over there stretching before doing it. Well, all the battery operated equipment, besides the blower obviously, made light work of all that pampas grass and a couple other things in the backyard. We still gotta do a minor leaf cleanup. And we got a lot of stragglers and stuff we gotta blow back in there and bag them up too. We're gonna use the new Gravely 48 I purchased for that. So, Blake left me here all by myself. But what are you gonna do, right? He's going to go dump all that pampas grass we cut so I'm gonna sit over here and watch this stuff and blow it all into a pile. I might even grab my water.
You probably never thought you were going to see Blake Albertson on a Gravely, did you? Something I can tell you about this Accelerator Industries bagger that came with this mower is it's a way, way lighter bagging system than I've ever used on any of my machines I've had. A, this is one hand, up into the truck, no problem. This is completely full of leaves. The worst part about cleanups is picking all the stuff from the cleanup up. And then on top of that, we have this giant pile of leaves on the back of the gravely. It's just going to blow out by the time we get it to where we need to go. Agreed? I agree, man. So, you're going to go buy a gravely? I really like the mower. You know I love my Atlas. Uh, but I really like your, your gravely there, man. It's pretty good, dude. I really like it. And that'll just go to show you guys, brands are brands. They all make quality commercial stuff. Skag, gravely, John Deere, Wright. It doesn't matter. They Listen. all make quality stuff. At the end of the day, you're looking for reliability, cut quality, and if it's going to make you money, man. And like you guys saw, we got the pompous grass filled out. Got both of these trimmed up and away from the deck. Blew all the leaves out of the beds, into the yard, chopped them all up, mulched them first, and then bagged them all up and put them in the back of the Gravely Atlas. Uh, it's always a wise idea to go ahead and mulch all your leaves up first before just bagging them it'll make the bag a little more compact smaller pieces a little easier to maintain your bag won't fill up as fast other than that i'd say it came out pretty good so let's throw all this stuff on top of these leaves so they don't I've blow lost, away i only lost two things i lost the cover to my chainsaw yep and i lost a rake and your water and my water just pulled up back at blake's house the Gravely did what it's supposed to do. And I'm gonna keep showing you the Gravely because I'm excited about my purchase. I'm excited about my new machine. I'm excited to make more money this year. I'm excited to go on new adventures and do more things and learn more stuff. You know what I'm saying, guys? So now we're gonna go from that Gravely to the Gravely Atlas they sent and go dump all this crap. Sound about right? <laughs> Woo! Well, there you go, guys. That's round two of day one from going to pick up and purchase a new mower for Blake, a new Gravely. Dude, I know this isn't <laughs> a lot for a lot of guys, but I went to bed at like 2.30 last night and got up at like 7.40. It's not bad. I needed my sleep, dude, or I'm grumpy. <laughs> I'm tired right now, man. He's exhausted. But we are done, so that's the good thing. Five o'clock, dog. Five o'clock, beautiful day. A beautiful night, man. Go have a little fire with the fam. Yeah. Do something, dude. So, went from purchasing a mower, getting it back here, which I like it so far. It's really awesome. And we got a Did little a testing, up. too. We got to test the accelerator that you have on it, the mm -hmm. bagging system. Which I like a lot. It's so light compared dude, to the other ones I've used. Mine, you guys see that big, I have that big uh, grass gobbler, and it is really, really heavy. You're getting the worst lighting in the world right now. No, that's okay, dude. <laughs> it, it is heavy. It's really, really heavy, dude, so. So yeah, dude, appreciate it as always, doing our thing, getting shit done. 
cleaning stuff up, hauling it away. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out BNB Lawn Care. Like and comment and subscribe to Cut and Clean Lawn Care as well. Peace out, guys. We'll have a great day. We'll see you in the next one, guys. See you later, Blake. See ya. See, see ya. Thanks, Yeah. See ya. Are you still? Are you still crying? Yeah. I can't tell. The sun was in my face. Finishing the day off, guys. Just did my lawn, mowed it, and did some leaf stuff. Got a couple minor things I want to do just for uh, self gratification on this mower I just purchased. Using the uh, Milwaukee Rocket Light, man, I love this thing, man. It puts off such a great lighting. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna end off the video. So, see you guys in the next one. When I be leaving everybody's stripes so clean. You wanna get mad and invade my space Because I can leave a sidewalk edge so straight But you must be out of your mind Cause I'm in my prime You probably think that it's a crime Designing my stripes You better just be taking a hike With you in my eyes Cause Blake will go up to your truck And cut up all of your